Hey guys, so I have here the Sony WH-1000XM5 Active Noise Cancelling Headphones. Now, some of you may be thinking of getting these new ones, or if you already have the Mark IVs, you might be thinking of upgrading to the Mark Vs. But now you aren't too sure about that because some people have said that for the price, it's not that much of an upgrade, and it's better value to just go for the XM4s because the Mark Vs have a very similar set of features like high-res audio support with LDAC streaming, up to 30 hours of playtime, uses the same noise cancelling processors, tap and swipe controls, speak to chat, DSEE extreme audio upscaling, and so on. So by and large, it doesn't have any new features, but it does have several very important upgrades over the XM4, like an increase of the number of microphones from 6 to 8 for improved noise cancelling and pass-through, an upgraded beamforming algorithm for improved call quality, and a redesigned form factor that responds directly to the complaints people had about the XM4s, like the XM4s ear cups being too cramped, so Sony made these ear cups more spacious. Other complaints were about the XM4s creaking noises when walking or running, so now the XM5s have fewer moving joints to eliminate that noise. And this also made the headband more durable while being as stretchy as the XM4s. Looks like they've taken a few lessons from the Bose NC700 and Apple AirPods Max, but much of the flag that the XM5s are getting actually has to do with its redesigned form factor. It's definitely not as compact as the XM4, so if you're going traveling with these, the case is going to take up extra space in your luggage. They do look bulkier when wearing them, and now these don't fold flat against your collar, so if you're hanging them around your neck, now the cushions point upwards, so they feel a little more restrictive than the XM4. But if these aren't deal breakers for you and you do want to know how they compare against the XM4 in terms of fit, comfort, and performance, Keep watching because we're going to touch on all of these elements. You'll even get to listen to some sample recordings to hear the difference. I've also split this video into chapters so you can simply skip to the parts you're interested in. And do subscribe and tap the bell button to stay notified because I will be comparing the XM5s to other products as well, and you won't want to miss out on those videos. I will say that these are definitely more comfortable than the XM4s, partly because of the ear cups cushions. They're not deeper, like I said in my predictions video, but they are softer and more roomy, and now my ears have more breathing room. The headband also feels more comfortable against my head, but it's not because there's more cushioning, because it actually doesn't have as much padding as the XM4s, but it's because the new headband flexes in a wider arc, so more cushion is making contact against your head. And this is while it's applying the same clamping pressure as the previous model. The XM5 also extends longer, so they're gonna fit bigger heads, though I would have preferred that it still clicks when I adjust it, it just feels more intuitive that way. I've also noticed that they're using a thicker type of pleather, so now it feels more durable than the previous model's cushions. So do these actually sound better than the XM4s? Well, at first my assumption was that there's gonna be a sacrifice there to its base performance, because these have smaller 30mm drivers compared to the XM4s 40mm. Which is great news for people who felt that the XM4s had too much bass, right? But it's also terrible news to bass heads. Well, after listening to them comparing them A to B with the Mark IVs, these actually have more bass. Surprise, surprise! I did a frequency sweep to confirm that, and yep, it seems like the XM5s have a significant gain in the upper bass frequencies over the XM4s. Now, for most types of music, you're not going to be able to pick up much of a difference 
but for certain beats with longer bass decay, the XM5s will display a louder, more sustained bass extension. However, the single most noticeable difference that anyone can hear is that the XM5s are warmer and more laid back in the mid-range, unlike the XM4s, which has more brightness and sizzle, so vocals sound like it's got more bite. But the XM4s also seem to have less body in the vocals than the XM5s, so depending on how you like your vocals, you're gonna prefer either the XM4s or the XM5s. Apart from that, they both sound quite similar in terms of track separation, detail retrieval, and sound staging. Yeah, it may be possible to get the XM5s to sound more like the Mark IVs by tuning it with the Sony Headphones Connect app's Graphic EQ. But as of now, the app has not been updated to support the XM5s yet, so I'll have to come back with another video about that when the update happens very, very soon, so stay tuned. Now we're gonna see if the XM5's microphone upgrades are actually an upgrade. We're gonna compare its mic pickup to the XM4's in both quiet and noisy environments with some wind noise coming from this fan over here. I am now making a phone call in a quiet place using the Sony WH-1000XM4. Background noise. I am now making a phone call in a noisy place using the Sony WH-1000XM4. I am now making a phone call in a quiet place using the Sony WH-1000XM5. Background noise. I am now making a phone call in a noisy place using the Sony WH-1000XM5. So, as you've just heard, the XM5s are a significant upgrade over the XM4s, not only in terms of reproducing the sound of my voice, but also in terms of background noise and wind noise rejection. It's pretty amazing how silent the background is, even with everything that's going on. So, based on my experience with other noise-canceling headphones, I dare say that the XM5s may be, right now, the best in terms of microphone pickup. No kidding. Now we're going to compare their noise cancelling performance using the same cafe-style background noise as before. Wow, there seems to be a huge improvement over the XM4's ANC. I mean, there was a lot more silence, especially in the mid-range, where it's notoriously difficult to cancel, and I talked about why that is the case in this video. While the XM4's employed white noise masking to deal with that, which is why you could hear some hiss in the background, the XM5s were actively cancelling more of the mid-range voices. This is actually something I felt when I was using these outside in noisy situations. It really was dealing with human chatter very, very well. So if you were wondering if the ANC has been upgraded here, well, these are quite a big upgrade over the XM4s. In terms of pass-through transparency, I've also found the XM5s to feel 
far more transparent. It feels more like I wasn't wearing any headphones at all compared to transparency on the Mark IVs. Right now, we're gonna see how much Bluetooth audio lag you're gonna get with these headphones when playing games or watching videos on both Android and iOS devices. We're gonna test that on both an iPhone SE and the Samsung Galaxy S22 Plus. Now, do note that the numbers you're about to see is the latency of the headphones in milliseconds after deducting the intrinsic lag of the phones. First, the Bluetooth audio lag of the headphones when gaming. So it seems like the XM5s has a little more lag on the iPhone and a little less lag on Android. But the difference is actually small enough that you won't be able to tell the difference without slow motion. What about for watching videos? Let's take a look. Hey guys, so we have a new firmware update for the AirPods Pro and Gen 3 AirPods. This is dubbed 4E71. As usual, Apple doesn't provide any update notes, so it's really hard to track. Hey guys, so we have a new firmware update for the AirPods Pro and Gen 3 AirPods. This is dubbed 4E71. As usual, Apple doesn't provide any update notes. So no problems there for watching videos on YouTube, lip syncing is very tight. But that is also because apps like YouTube or Netflix usually have their own latency correction built into their code. To conclude, yes, it is true that the XM5s can be a mixed bag, and some people won't like the direction Sony is taking with its design. I've talked about the new size, the new side profile. Sony's clearly made some bold decisions in an attempt to refresh the look and feel of these headphones, bringing them more in line with other popular models in the market, while addressing the concerns that customers had about the previous model. You want bigger ear cups? Done! But you'll get fatter cans as a result. No creaking? Bam! Fewer moving parts in the headband, but it's non-foldable now, and you get a bigger case as a bonus. So now we've got a design here that's not gonna appeal to everybody, especially in Sony's core fan base. But I wanna give them the benefit of the doubt, cause that is a tightrope that very few companies dare to tread, especially with a popular flagship. It's unfortunate that this time I wasn't able to access the full XM5 experience due to the app not being ready for it, but even in its current form, the XM5s already feel like a substantial upgrade. Its ANC, its transparency, and its microphone pickup is a full generation ahead of the XM4s. In fact, it's looking to me like these have, right now, the best noise cancelling performance in the market. Of course, I'll have to confirm this when I compare these headphones with other products. So get subscribed and tap the bell button to stay notified of new videos from me about the XM5. In terms of sound quality, I'm not sure I agree with other reviewers that these sound better. It sounds different, but I wouldn't exactly call it an upgrade because although I do like what they did with the Mark V's bass, I kind of miss the sizzle of the Mark IV's mid-range reproduction. That being said, 
Let me know, guys, in the comments what you think. Thanks for watching. Appreciate your time. Smash like and share if you like this video. A big shout out to my Patreon supporters, as always. You can also join us on the world's most popular gaming chat app, Discord, if you want to hang out or chat. Link is in the box down below. Click here to find out which are the best earbuds for phone calls or watch another video from this channel.